I have 11 o'clock. I will call the Harrison County Commission meeting for November the 8th to order. If you would rise and join me in the Lord's Prayer, please, and pledge. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Anyone signed up for public comment? Yes, Good morning. Um, I just wanted to basically take a few minutes to identify yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> for the record, my yeah, name is uh, Sean Bennett. Um, I'm an employee at Antero Resources, and um, one of the my wife and I are the um, owners of uh, Glen Elk Iron. It's a new fitness facility in the uh, Glen Elk Village section of Clarksburg. Um, it's something that we've put a lot of time and money into, and um, it's something that we we believe in. We believe that it'll be good for the community. Um, I'm from the Northview area, so you know I know firsthand that, that it's definitely needed over there in the Glen Elk area. Um, you know, we already have a lot of, a lot of youth in the area that, that we're helping out, um, that we allow to utilize our facility at, at, at no cost. Um, and, you know, we'd like to continue that and offer it to the Harrison County employees as well. Um, we think it's, it's very beneficial to the community and can be beneficial to your employees as well. So, um, you know, if that's, that's something you guys would consider, it would, it would be greatly appreciated by us. Thank you. Sean. Thank you. And thank you for taking the time and the money to uh, put another business in Clarksburg. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Is that the only? Yes, the only is there anyone on Zoom that wishes to speak publicly? Anyone on Zoom wish to speak publicly? Okay, hearing none. We will move to number two, consent agenda. What's the pleasure? Move to approve consent agenda. Motion's been made to approve the consent agenda. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. Number three, payroll change notices A through C. What's the pleasure? Move to approve change notices for payroll A, B, and C. Okay, motion to uh, approve change payrolls A through C. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. Number four, minutes and or amended minutes of previous meeting. It looks like there's one for October 25th. What's the pleasure? Move to approve minutes for 1025 2023 as presented. Motion to approve minutes for 10 25 23 as presented. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carry. Requisitions, purchase orders, and invoices A and B. Uh, move to approve requisitions and the Lake Floyd PSD ARP funds. A and B. ARP. Yeah, A okay. and B. Okay. Motion to approve purchase orders A and B. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. A review discuss consideration of adoption of a resolution which would authorize a payment in lieu of tax agreement as an incentive for the construction of a manufacturing facility in Harrison County initially to be known as Project Arrow, 
potential executive session pursuant to 69A4B9 to consider matters involving or affecting the purchase, sale, or lease of property, advanced construction planning, the investment of property funds, or other matters involving commercial competition, which if made public might adversely affect the financial or other interest of the county. Move to go into executive session and for the assessor, uh, Gary, for the school board, sheriff, if he's in the building. He has not returned. Laura and Trey. Okay, motion to go into executive session with the assessor, president of the board of education, Trey, Laura. Did I miss anybody? Oh, uh, yes. Well, uh, Amy. And Amy, Amy Wilson. Wilson. I take it just from Harrison County Developed Corporation. Is that yes, the reason? Okay. Okay. All in favor, signify. Is there any discussion on that? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Hearing none, motion carried. Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. Okay. We're back into executive session. We're back into regular session. Excuse me. Uh, make a motion to adopt the resolution as presented for the commission. Motion to adopt the resolution as presented to the commission. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? And a fixed signature. It, and a fixed signature. I thought of that you know, <laughs> left me. and affix the proper signature added to the motion. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> Hearing none, motion carried. Number seven, review, discuss, consider resolution applying for funds for the industrial access road for economic development project, North Central West Virginia Airport, Aero Tech Industrial Park Road. Who wants to talk about that? Ian could be here. I have the resolution, but I actually don't know about the project. So it's okay. Sean want to talk about <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Oh, no. No. Somebody's trying to, I'm going to say it out loud. He knows. Oh, okay. For me. You want to tell us about okay. it? <laughs> 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 it was suggested to ask Ian. So. Okay, Sean's okay. And so, I yeah. didn't make that suggestion. Uh, so we've been working with Gina. And hey, Sean, on, identify yourself. Oh, sorry. I'm Sean Long with the airport. Um, we're trying to apply for industrial access road grant to uh, help build the roads into the terminal, into our Aerotech park. And uh, we've worked with Gina in the past. We actually, the commission approved a resolution last year for this application. And then it just, with the timelines, we didn't meet the funding funding timeline. So she thought that we should put it back on the agenda to do it again. And we're going to get everything, everything timelines, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anybody else want to say something? Anthony? <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right, thank you. Move to approve the resolution for the airport to apply for industrial access road. And to fix the signature. <laughs> Motion to approve the resolution applying for the funds for the industrial access road at the airport and to affix the proper signatures. Is yeah. there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. Number eight. This review, discuss, consider GSA update potential executive session pursuant to 69A4B9 to consider matters involving or affecting the purchase, sale or lease of property, advanced construction planning, the investment of public funds or other matters involving commercial competition, which if made public might adversely affect the financial or other interest of the county. Is there anything under? 
the only thing I'd like to update is we have been working every week now. Um, we've been either having a call or a walk through with the construction company, Ceiling, Rikon, um, and whoever else may be involved to finish up some of these things. Uh, last week was a conference call. We'll actually meet and do a walkthrough today with Rikon, just trying to, you know, take care of some of these issues that we have around here. Yeah, I think Laura has been doing a good job keeping them on task and we're hopefully going to get everything done in, in the timeline we set with them. So uh, I just want to thank her and, and staff for keeping up on them. And uh, I think next week we'll be able to get into some better updates on where we stand and look at the picture of where We'll stand with uh, finishing up the uh, the building. <clears throat> Nothing else for number eight. We will move on to number nine. Review, discuss, consider the reappointment of board members to the Harrison County Development Authority. A, Jason Myers, and B, Mike Jenkins. What's the pleasure? Move to approve A and B. Motion to approve nine A and B. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. Review, discuss, consider reappointing James Denny to the Central West Virginia Transit Authority Board. Move to approve reappointing James Denny to the Central West Virginia Transit Authority Board. Motion to approve reappointing James Denny to the Central West Virginia Transit Authority Board. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? None. Motion carried. Review, discuss, consider Glen Elk Iron joining the employee wellness program. Is there anything that she has to? As far as um, making this part of it. Everything will be taken care of, just like the other entities that we have in our program for the wellness for the employees. Um, this will just go into effect. We can now offer that once it's approved, we can now offer this to the employees. And I would just need a motion to approve um, this agreement and to affix the president's signature on it, please. Move to approve uh, uh, accepting Glen Elk Iron, joining the employee, employee wellness program, and for the president to fix her signature. Motion to approve the agreement with Glen Elk Iron, joining the employee wellness program, and the president to affix her signature. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. You're in, Sean. <laughs> Number 12, review, discuss, consider request for disbursement from TIF fund district number six, North Central West Virginia Airport for $242,787.35. Uh, Madam President, they have submitted all their documentation. Um, I even went back into TIF six and had Joni pull some numbers to make sure that what they put in, they'll be able to cover this reimbursement and there's enough in there for um, their reimbursement of $242,787.35. And this is something along the lines of what we did a couple weeks ago for Pratt & Whitney from tip six. What's the pleasure? Number 12. Uh, move to approve requisition for disbursement of TIF funds from district number six the North Central West Virginia Airport. Motion to approve the requisition for disbursement from TIF Fund 6 to the North Central West Virginia Airport. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. Number 13, review, discuss, consider approving the dates and times for calendar year 2024 county commission meetings. <laughs> Madam President, as you look at the commission meeting schedule uh, for next calendar year, 
it is my recommendation to move the meeting times to 9.30 a.m. and have them all at the same time. With this, we're going along the lines of also, for the most part, the holiday, the commission meeting after a holiday, like Memorial Day or Labor Day, we are missing, we're not having a meeting that week. Um, there's two, two different exceptions to that. July 4th is, a, I think it's uh, July 3rd, we'll have a meeting. No, I'm sorry, not stuck. July. Um, sorry. But like Thanksgiving, we'll have it the Wednesday before before we will not have a meeting or we will have a meeting the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, not the week after. And we also put on the calendar when the canvassing will happen. So we have that already scheduled and worked out for the new calendar year. And we figure out when the uh, tax hearings, do we have those anymore or that all gone now? In, You'll have uh, the, in uh, February? Yeah. We'll have them. I haven't gotten the dates yet of when they're supposed to start and when Sonny die okay. will be. And of course, those will be added. But those are just for those hearings. They don't take up the county commission business. I mean, I, I, I'll voice my opinion. I, I would much prefer if we're going to go for a set time, 10 o'clock, but I'm fine with 9.30. Um, it hasn't bothered me that we have different times like today. And I don't, uh, I mean, if you want to keep the way it is now, I don't have a problem doing that. If you want to keep the 9 and 11, we can revise this to do 9 and 11. I think what yeah. our intention was, was never to have a big meeting at least at 11 o'clock, just do these as I'm necessary sure. to pay bills and incidentals and would help with the rest of the people that have to attend. If we can still do the 9 30 11, I would be happy with that. I mean, not 9 11, 9 30 11. Whatever. Yeah. See, that's, I'm fine with that. Okay. So then we'll do nine. I just don't want it to be too confusing for the public. That's all. We'll do 9 and 11 um, on the days they'll alternate. And then, but the canvassing, I will keep. I'm not sure where they would fall, but those ones. Well, are those are set by code. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And those are. And the time is also, I believe, set by code yeah. when it starts. You've got me pretty much showing up when I need to on the nines. And I like the 11s okay. when we're just doing these quick ones to come in and get out of here. Nine or 11, it is. You can make a motion to that. Uh, or did I miss that? No. I we have to make a motion. Would you like me to make changes and have it on next week's agenda just so you can see it? If you could, I don't think, I mean, it's not a do or die. We're just. We have time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Number 14, administrator's report. Um, the only thing I have is, you know, we'll be walking around for the walkthrough through the GSA later on today. Um, also take note that the for those that join via Zoom, next week we'll have a new, I'm not sure if the meeting ID will change, but definitely the password will change. So pay attention to next week's agenda to make sure that you get the correct login information for those attending via Zoom. And that's all I have. I have nothing. Mr. Mangle? Uh, I think that's again, I just, uh, all the elected officials, getting uh, everything set up over here. I know it's been uh, sometimes easy, sometimes hard, but I appreciate what you all and your staff have done. Laura, I appreciate that you got us all started to come over here. And uh, again, with what's coming up with Laura trying to find any issues, I can't express enough that you have to let the commission know if there's an issue in the building. That's just, we want to make sure that when we say we're done, we don't want to hear 30 things after the fact, and we're just going to be looking at you like you're going to have to live with it because you didn't speak up. So please speak up. Please let Laura know. And uh, so that we can make sure that everything's taken care of. That's it. Retain the motion. 
Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Yeah, that's an executive session. <laughs>